Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 395. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and then you can download the workbook. Excel Magic Trick 394 to 396. Hey, in this trick here, 395, we want to talk about the round function. Now, I've done lots of videos on the round function, but I always get questions like, when do you have to use the round function? So that's what this video is about. Even though in some of the other videos that talk about it, there it is. That's all you want to know. You have to to use the round function when one, two, three things come out to be true. Now, if you're adding and subtracting, those numbers should have already been rounded. So you, ne you never have to round use the round function when you're adding or subtracting. It's when you're multiplying or dividing decimals that you get into trouble. So multiplying or dividing decimals, that's number one. Two, you're required to round. Lots of times you're multiplying and dividing decimals and uh, who cares how many decimals there are. But guess what? There's situations when you have to, like money. We don't have half pennies, so we have to round when we're dealing with uh, pennies. Now think about this, payroll, uh, invoicing. People make these mistakes all the time. Now the mistakes are only a few pennies, but you could uh, make an employee or a customer really unhappy if they realize you're not calculating correctly. The third criteria, that leads to a must use round function is you will use the formula result in a subsequent formula. Now, it doesn't matter if you multiply decimals and use formatting, the formatting will show that two decimals, the to the penny, just like this one right here, it will show you the right answer. That's fine if you're going to just say, okay, now 62 pennies, give them to me, I'll give you your change. But if you're going to use this exact formula result, in a subsequent calculation, like we did right here, this I'm adding this column of invoices. So that formula result is being used in a subsequent calculation to add right here. Forget it. One, two, three, you have to use the round function. Now let's look here. I have uh, invoice one, invoice two, invoice three. What I've done is I've multiplied, we have an amount, a tax rate, and then I've added them. Right? And so it's the same for all of these. Now, as we just saw a moment ago, I went ahead and added all these. You can see. And then here's the subsequent calculation. Boom. I'm adding them. Formulas never look at this formatting. They look at the underlying number. Let's just take a look at these uh, underlying numbers here. I'm going to increase the font size. Boop. You see that. Uh, 62 4, that little 4 is a part of a penny. And this sum function is looking to that and adding it. Same with that extra 8, same with that extra 4. I'm going to control Z. So here's how to prove to yourself. You see the numbers here, right? So you come over here and you type them. That's not a formula. I'm actually looking at the surface. I'm looking at the surface. I'm looking at the surface. And when I add, I get a different number. And that's where your employee or your customer uh, might be unhappy. Happy. Now, they're not really going to matter. It doesn't matter about a penny, but it's the fact that you're not calculating right. It leads to mistrust. So here's how you solve it. One, two, three, those things have been met. Look, I'm multiplying decimals. I am required to round because it's dollars, and I'm using a subsequent calculation. Here's the, you don't round the sum function, even though there's there, you, you could in a huge calculation. Forget it. You round the actual original source multiplying or dividing. Here it is, R-O-U-N-D. There's the number, number of digits, comma, two if you're going to the penny, comma, zero if you're going to the dollar, like for income taxes. I'm going to say two, and then I'm going to control enter. Notice those are relative cell references. Control enter. I'm going to copy. I'm going to paste this one right here. Notice it's looking at the same two cells above. Notice it's looking at the two cell, same cells above. So control V, whoops, control C, control V, and what happened? I've rounded properly, and so the subsequent calculation, boom, it works. That's when you have to round. See you next trick.